guys, aka Hollywood Productions here, and today I got a really cool app for you I wanted to show you. It is August, the end of August, and we are expecting uh, Apple to release their new iPhone here within the coming week. So hopefully we'll have a new iPhone on the market here, hopefully very soon. So the question is, what should you do with your old iPhone if you're planning on upgrading uh, to the newest iPhone? You know, you could sell it. Here is a cool app that you can use on your old iPhone, old uh, iPad, no one ever has an old iPad, but your old uh, your old iPhone um, is a great purpose for this program. It's, I mean, it's kind of cheap, it's kind of cool, and it, it'll, I definitely think you guys will like this. <clears throat> this app is called Presence, Presence, like Presence of Mind, Presense, I don't know, really know how they pronounce it. Uh, let's see, right there, Presense. You get it on the uh, the Apple Market. Uh, it's totally free. You we'll just go in and uh, set up an account. So right here it says Brent's iPhone. Uh, basically, what this app does, um, it turns your old iPhone into a security system. So you can set this up and um, monitor your house over uh, your Wi-Fi network. And unlike the other apps that I found on. Um, some of the Android Play Store markets and uh, the you know Apple App Store, uh, they were all local networks. So the only way you could view what was actually being seen on your phone was if you were on the same uh, internet network at, that the other phone was. So you would have to be in your house or barely outside your house to still pick up that internet signal um, to do like a local network connection. There, there's no purpose for that unless it's like being used for like a baby monitor or something. I don't have a child, so I don't, I don't need that. But it gives. Me, I like this app because you can view it, you know, wherever you are in the world, and it lets you see what's going on in your house if you're away. Uh, you can, you know, I use it for my dog to kind of see what, you know, make sure she hadn't really tore up the house or something like that. So I think this is a great app. So what you'll see here is you'll see uh, all my device right now. The only thing I have set up is my iPhone that is showing up right there. Uh, you can just add a device by clicking that plus sign up there and it'll add this, this device as a camera. If you have multiple devices, you can do that and add multiple devices to your account. And then you can set up uh, you know, as many iPhones or iPads as you want to uh, monitor your home. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Brent's iPad and it says start using as video camera. And it's going to slowly go through and as you can see there I am. Uh, so now that that's doing that, let me kind of just face that somewhere. I also have uh, my girlfriend's iPad here and I'm signed into my account. And what we're going to do is it's showing that my iPhone is connected. So we're going to click and view as. And it's going to load here. As you can see, there it is. So no matter where I move the phone, there's a lot of feedback. But that's that. Uh, you can change uh, whether it's a front-facing camera. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, let me turn this off real quick. There's a lot of different things you can do, uh, motion control. So it's really sweet. Uh, from your main camera, you can actually flip the, whether it's the rear facing camera or the front facing camera. So you can have your iPhone set up pointing in two different directions. And on your main, uh, what I'm using for my iPad, my main viewing screen, uh, you can actually flip it from there so it'll automatically detect it. You can turn on motion detection so it'll, uh, the phone will turn on when it detects motion. Um, you can turn on and off audio streaming, which I will actually do right now so I don't have all that feedback because uh, it was getting hard to talk. And you can do video streaming. So you can turn off video streaming, uh, just turn on audio streaming. So where you would just hear, so if you'd rather just hear rather than see, um, you can do that. So it's kind of a, kind of a cool little feature. Um, I definitely think that this is uh, something that you guys can find use out of with your old iPhones. This 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 app is not currently on the Play Store uh, market, but you can get it for free through the App Store. I've actually heard of uh, some school programs that are actually using this program, and they're asking parents 
to donate uh, their old uh, iPhones, uh, whatever they have, and they're actually turning them into a security system, and the security system is going to be ran on iPhones. Seems kind of pricey to me, but hey, if you can get parents to donate old iPhones to their kids' school, um, yeah, I think they're going to save a lot of money. Uh, what I've learned, what I've seen with this is the image quality isn't bad um, compared to some of the stuff, uh, compared to some of the security cameras that I've seen. Uh, I work at Walmart, so I've seen some of the security cameras and they're not very good. Um, I've seen, you know, my old high school security cameras and they were absolutely terrible. If you think, you know, this, these, these have, they don't have the greatest camera in them, but they have pretty decent cameras in them. Uh, so it'll, it'll definitely function as something to help you keep that uh, presence of mind when you're away on vacation or whatnot. Just to kind of keep an eye on your house or the kids while you're at work or something like that. I do think this is a great app. So there you guys go. If you guys like this video, um, thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace, guys.